Universal Serial Bus, or USB as it's commonly known, has become as indispensable to modern life as electricity itself. We use it for everything from charging our phones, to connecting our computers, to external hard drives. But have you ever stopped to consider the differences between the various USB standards? In the beginning, there was USB 1.0, then came 2.0, and now we have 3.0 and beyond. Each iteration brought with it faster speeds, more power, and improved functionality. Today, we're going to focus on two key players in the USB saga, USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. USB 2.0, released in 2000, was a significant leap forward, offering speeds up to 480 megabits per second. This was more than enough bandwidth for the devices of the time, such as printers and external storage devices. However, as technology advanced, so too did the demand for faster data transfer speeds. Enter USB 3.0 in 2008, boasting a theoretical speed of V5 gigabits per second, more than 10 times faster than its predecessor. This ushered in a new era of high-speed data transfer, allowing for the rapid movement of large files, such as high-definition videos and complex software programs. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, speed is relative, but in the world of computers, speed is king. When it comes to transferring data between devices, faster is always better. USB 2.0, with its maximum speed of 480 megabits per second, was a respectable workhorse in its day. It could handle most everyday tasks, such as transferring documents, photos, and music files. However, as file sizes grew, USB 2.0 started to show its age. USB 3.0, with its blistering 5 gigabits per second speed, changed the game. Suddenly, transferring large files such as high-definition movies and complex software programs, became a breeze. This made a world of difference for professionals who worked with large amounts of data, such as video editors and graphic designers. But the need for speed didn't stop there. As technology continued to advance, USB 3.1 and 3.2 emerged, offering even faster speeds of 10 gigabits per second and 20 gigabits per second, respectively. In the realm of consumer electronics, color is often used to differentiate between different types of connectors. USB is no exception. USB 2.0 connectors are typically black or white. The black connectors are the most common and are found on a wide range of devices. The white connectors are typically found on devices that are designed to be used with Apple products. USB 3.0 connectors, on the other hand, are typically blue. This color difference makes it easy to distinguish between USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports and devices. In the ever-expanding universe of portable electronic devices, power is paramount. Our smartphones, tablets, and laptops are constantly demanding more juice, and USB has become a primary source of power for these devices. USB 2.0 ports provide up to 500 milliamps of power, which is sufficient for charging smaller devices like smartphones and MP3 players. However, larger devices like tablets and external hard drives often require more power. USB 3.0 addresses this need by providing up to 900 milliamps of power. This increased power output allows for faster charging of power-hungry devices and ensures that external devices have enough juice to operate properly. In the grand cosmic dance of technological evolution, USB 2.0 and 3.0 have played pivotal roles. Each standard has its own strengths and weaknesses, making them suitable for different applications. USB 2.0, while slower than its successor, is still a viable option for many everyday tasks. It's widely compatible with older devices and is perfectly adequate for transferring smaller files, such as documents, photos, and music. USB 3.0, with its blazing fast speeds and increased power output, is the clear winner for anyone who demands the best performance. It's ideal for transferring large files, such as high-definition videos and complex software programs, and 
can power even the most demanding devices. Ultimately, the best USB standard for you depends on your specific needs and budget. If you're looking for the fastest possible speeds and don't mind paying a premium, then USB 3.0 is the way to go. However, if you're on a tight budget or only need to transfer smaller files, then USB 2.0 is still a perfectly viable option.